Okay, it's Monday, April 20th, 2020, and here is a look at the Altos research data for the U.S. housing market, which came in over the weekend in the real-time view. So median home prices ticked up this week to 325900 This is the first uptick in a month and provides continuing evidence that homes are maintaining their values in the market freeze. The newly listed cohort ticked down a little bit to 294,900. And overall we're 1.8% lower than last year at this time. The, the newly listed cohort, this is the earliest leading indicator. You can see from the year over year dots in the chart, peaks, the newly listed number peaks in May each year, setting up the June peak for the market as a whole. So we are rapidly burning through our strong selling season. Um, so without a lot of price appreciation in the year, obviously, but a floor on price decreases. The fact that homes appear to be maintaining their values is actually really important right now. It implies, for example, that we won't see a big wave of foreclosures. Home values are holding steady. Uh, mortgages are balanced with a fair amount of equity and very low rates. And so even uh, as people start losing their jobs and the ability to pay mortgages, the results like foreclosure will be significantly less uh, likely than last time, last cycle. Uh, it also implies for realtors, there are a lot of buyers on the sidelines with cash waiting for bargains. And I am not sure based on the data to date that we're going to see a lot of bargains for buyers. The, the way that the market's reacted is by holding its price, even while the inventory is falling. So the, that's the, the key story here is supply on the supply demand part of the equation. The supply is ultra low. Uh, we're still under 750,000 single family homes for sale in the whole country. That's 20, 25% below this time in a normal year. I've marked the year over year dots in the chart. And we only had 90, 49,000 new homes come on the market this week. And that's 40 or 50% lower than normal at this time of year. So supply is low, demand stays is staying relatively high. Uh, prices, uh, we're keeping, uh, uh, it's notably keeping a floor on prices, even as that, that newly listed cohort, the number of properties is shrinking week over week. So that's the story that continues to be the story. Values holding up, inventory is super tight. We'll do this again next week to see if we see things starting to loosen up, maybe more homes coming on or any changes in pricing as we continue into week five, six, seven of our shutdown. Stay well.